Surprisingly, Christmas comes early this year thanks to the Hawkeye TV show, which will see Clint Barton and his new protege, Kate Bishop, team up to shoot a whole lot of arrows around the holiday season. But you know the saying, an archer is only as good as his target, or something like that. So just who will these two bow wielders be shooting pointy objects at during the show? Well, the new trailer gave us some fascinating insight. Here's all the villains we might see in Hawkeye. Let's get started right now. When you're talking about the New York criminal underworld in the Marvel Universe, you can't not mention Kingpin. Wilson Fisk has his hands in just about every cookie jar when it comes to illegal activity, and he would make an excellent antagonist for the Hawkeye TV show. And hey, would you look at that, we already have a great actor ready to go! Vincent D'Onofrio's portrayal of Kingpin in the Daredevil TV show is always discussed as one of the best villain performances in any recent superhero property. When the Daredevil and the other Defender shows were canceled, it looked like all these characters would be gone forever as the MCU tried to bury them in the backyard and forget them as Disney Plus shows became the hot new thing. But now, thanks to the multiverse, there's a logical way to bring D'Onofrio's Kingpin into the MCU without too much hassle. Come on, if it's Clint and Kate against the criminal underworld, that needs to include Kingpin. Okay, this one we know is definitely happening. Yelena will be coming for Hawkeye, and she'll have a definite bone to pick with the Archer as she wants revenge for Natasha. Thanks to Val and her manipulations, Yelena is convinced that Hawkeye is responsible for Natasha's demise, and this will lead to conflict. But now the question is, just how long will Yelena be a villain for? The trailer that was just released doesn't show Yelena at all, and rather reveals Clint and Kate will be dealing with other foes. But will that lead to something bigger? After they dispatch whatever street level villain threatens them in the first half of the show, will Yelena arrive looking for revenge? Honestly, after that trailer, it's hard to imagine just how the new Black Widow will exactly feature into the story and how big of a part she'll play. Could she be the ultimate villain, or just factor into one or two episodes that set up the Dark Avengers? That's the big question. Alright, I'm sorry, but I have to backtrack and talk more about the Daredevil TV show. I thought I had it all out of my system by including Kingpin, but now I just have to talk about Bullseye. Season 3 of Daredevil introduced the origin of Benjamin Poindexter, aka Bullseye, with the mentally unhinged villain impersonating Daredevil through much of the season before setting up big things for a season 4. Hello, Karen. It's nice to see you again. But then our hopes were shattered, much like Poindexter's spine in the season 3 finale when Daredevil was cancelled. And here's the thing, Bullseye would be the absolute perfect villain for Hawkeye, wouldn't he? I mean, the MCU loves to pit their heroes against villains with their exact same skill sets. Iron Man fought Iron Monger, Captain America fought Red Skull, Ant-Man fought Yellow Jacket, and although we haven't seen something like that for a while, it actually would work great here. Seeing the Master Archer go up against the man who never misses would be a thrilling cat mouse game of who can be the most accurate. Alright, I'm done talking about Daredevil connections, don't worry. From the trailer, we have a pretty solid idea of what's going to happen in the first few episodes of the Hawkeye TV show. First, Hawkeye will be happy in retirement before he sees Kate impersonating his Ronin persona, which inspires him to track her down. It looks like Kate is messing with some mafia folks, which Hawkeye calls the tracksuit Draculas in the comics. Yeah, they wear tracksuits. Shocker, right? They're goofy in the comics too, always calling each other bro, but they have significant numbers that make them difficult to deal with. It looks like eventually, while fighting them, Clint is captured and Kate will be forced to save him. It appears their leader is Ivan Banionis. I mean, the facial hair is exactly the same. In the comics, Ivan owns the building Hawkeye lives in and causes him trouble, but I wonder if they'll change that to have Ivan own Kate's building instead, leading to her fighting against the tracksuit Draculas as Ronin, which leads to Hawkeye showing up and getting involved. And hey, this will also all lead to Lucky the dog, so I can't complain. There's two things the MCU loves doing, strained family relationships and streamlining multiple comic characters into one person. And it looks like we'll get both of those in the Hawkeye TV show. We know these tracksuit Draculas won't be the main villains of the season, so after they're dispatched with, who will reveal themselves? The smart money is on Madame Mask. Yes, we technically saw a version of Madame Mask in the Agent Carter TV show, but this will be different, and she might even end up being Kate's own mother. In the comics, Kate's mom is Eleanor Bishop, who is believed believed to have perished, but then is revealed to be alive and orchestrating the movements of the Madame Mask character. But come on, the MCU show has cast Vera Farmiga as Eleanor, and you don't waste her talents as a secondary villain. It would just be easier to reveal that Eleanor is in fact Madame Mask, and setting her up to be the big bad immediately makes this a more personal story for Kate and Clint. 
In the comics, the sometimes hero, sometimes villain known as Swordsman is the one who trained Clint, and we know he'll appear in the new show played by Better Call Saul's Tony Dalton. Now here's something fascinating. Behind the scenes photos have shown Dalton with Vera Farmiga's character, who we know is playing Eleanor Bishop. So is the show going to reveal that Swordsman trained both Clint and Kate? Is that why Kate is already so talented in archery and wants to copy Hawkeye? This would set up an amazing arc where Swordsman trained both these characters separately, and now they have to work together in order to take down their former master. So let me just try to get this straight. Swordsman trains Hawkeye first, Hawkeye turns good and leaves, then Swordsman trains Kate, and then Kate turns good and leaves, then Hawkeye starts training Kate as they're both good guys, and then team up to take down the guy who trained them both. Come on, that sounds awesome. I think the tracksuit Draculas scream low-level villains to me, and now we're getting into a chunk of villains who could be the Mafia's heavy hitter, so to speak. Like when Kate and Clint just completely start dismantling this gang, Ivan will call in their special reinforcement, and that villain can be the one to provide the first true challenge to the pair of archers. The first I think we could see is a villain known as The Hood. Again, Marvel likes streamlining things, so just know it looks like the tracksuit Draculas like wearing red, and that's the color of The Hood's cloak. In the comic Comics, there's a storyline where someone under the guise of Ronan starts attacking the criminal overlord's bases of operation, which angers the Hood as he tries to retaliate. This is significant because that looks like exactly what happens in the first trailer, with Kate impersonating Ronan and making the Mafia mad. It would be easy to fit the Hood into the story, just, I don't know, maybe without the demon cloak that once belonged to Dormammu? Other than that though, he's perfect. If the MCU doesn't want to rip off Red Hood from DC and instead do something original, they could instead go with a villain known as Clown, which, correct me if I'm wrong, is completely original and has no similar villain in DC lore, right? Sure, let's go with that. Anyways, in the comics, Clown is an assassin who just likes eliminating people and was eventually hired by the tracksuit Draculas to get rid of Hawkeye. I mean, what else is there to say about this guy? He's dressed like a clown, and he's a mercenary. I guess everyone has to have a gimmick, right? If Bullseye is off the table, then a great alternative villain for the tracksuit Draculas to bring in would be Crossfire. In the comics, William Cross is a former CIA agent who used his skills to profit in the criminal underworld. An accident left him injured where he lost an eye and 85% of his hearing. To fix this, he upgraded himself with cybernetic equipment and now he's a super accurate sharpshooter. This would make a great parallel to Hawkeye because the trailer made it look like Clint is losing his hearing as well. Would Hawkeye look at Crossfire and debate? Bait upgrading himself in order to stay at the top of his game, that would be a fantastic thing for Clint to grapple with in the show. I think it's fair to say that Taskmaster wasn't utilized the best in the Black Widow movie, but now Hawkeye has a chance to rectify that. When we last left the villain, she was just learning to be her own person and escape the brainwashing. But what if the person she is is just another villain? Maybe we could get a version of Taskmaster in the Hawkeye TV show that is trying to branch out on her own and take odd job mercenary gigs in order to make a profit. If she's brought in to fight Hawkeye, then this would be an excellent fight. It could do what the Black Widow movie failed to do which is show how one of the not-powered Avengers could actually do well against the other hero's abilities. Hawkeye has forever been the butt of a lot of jokes, but seeing him fight a Captain America, Black Panther, Iron Man stand-in would finally show off everything Hawkeye could do, and I think that's pretty cool. With all these heroes, I think Clint and Kate will need even more help. On top of all the villain teases, the trailer gave us a brief first look at Echo, who is a deaf superhero that kicks a lot of butt. I don't think these villains stand a chance. 